Motion Welcome guys to the comic movie. story and review for Logan. We're gonna give you guys a non-spoiler opinion and then we're gonna give you guys the spoiler opinion where we discuss all the answers and stuff that we figured out by watching the movie. But if you're wondering who's with me right now, typically I would do these reviews myself, walking around with the camera being held up in the air and that's what I would do. But today, I'm with the Weekly Poll in Emerald City Comic Con, so I wanted to get my bestest buddies from the Weekly Poll. Yeah, other people, you know who you are. Ah, you went home. Sucks to be you. Anyway, <laughs> we have Tiffany and Sal from Comic Pop. Hey. Check hey. out their channel link down below. And we have Rob oh, God, from dude. Comics Explained. I forgot to montage the video where I said come hang out with us. Get the thing. Ow! Ow! <laughs> My head. <laughs> my head on the ground. Anyway, guys. No, no, no. <laughs> Alright, so first up, let's go ahead and start on this side. If, you, if someone came up to you right now and they wanted to know if they should see the Logan movie, what would you say? Yes. I mean, definitely. You have to see the Logan. Uh, if you want to be, if you want your fingers on the pulse of the comic book community and the pop culture world at large, you need to go see Logan. No question. All right. If, your fingers on the pulse. I have to tell you right now. <laughs> if you didn't have plans to see this movie, go change your plans. That's right. Change your plans. <laughs> go see the movie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, and Mr. Jefferson. Ooh. Yes, how yeah. do you feel about this movie? That's it was really good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I loved it. It was it was awesome. It's I th it's the best X Men movie to date. I oh, think. uh huh. Yeah. Oh, you guys hang on your glasses. Come you, you, what? You do. I see it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> anyway, yeah. No, I agree. It's the literally the best X Men movie to date. I think that Fox has finally figured out what they want to do with the X Men seventeen years later. Yeah. But yeah. I, I'm at least enjoying it now, and that's only, all that really matters. It only took almost two decades for them to get it together. Right? <laughs> that's, that's literally what I just said. But hey, whatever. Gosh. I was. All right, guys. So that's gonna be the official non-spoiler thing before right. we start going into all the spoilers and discussing the answers to the questions that all of you have about the movie. Mm -hmm. um, so you literally have five seconds to get out of here if you do not want spoilers. The official opinion is go check it out. Five, four, three, two, one. Dude, ding, 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 ding. Oh. <laughs> oh. You broke my glasses, man. No, I didn't. You made my all right, so first off, I want to say, the part of the confusion that you may get oh. if you're not a avid comic book, what, you okay? You made my lens fall out, you asshole. <laughs> Literally, this is every gym this class is, I've ever had. Yeah. This is, you're just making Did me really fall out? My legs fell out. Okay, anyway. Oh, first off, timeline-wise, this is not in the timeline of the first class. This is in no. the original yeah, timeline. This is, this is, and they make sure you're aware of that. X1, X2, X3. Mm -hmm. I would say it also includes Wolverine Origins. Wolverine and the Origins. Wolverine. The Wolverine. Wasn't there another one in there also? Uh, uh, I found my lens, you guys. <laughs> yeah, I think everything that has nothing to do with Matthew Vaughn, or like James McAvoy. Yeah. Yeah. That's in canon. Okay. Okay. So we have a separate timeline that is now going on. Yeah. Uh, but what this does is it does end that timeline, right, Rob? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah definitively. Uh, I mean, yeah, but kind of, I mean, well, not, uh, I mean well, yeah. the, the ending kind of leaves it open to like work because I think those are the new mutants, to be honest. Right. Well, so yeah. Okay, but don't jump ahead to that. We'll get uh, to that. Okay. But hold it. Yeah, no, because you're, you're yeah. literally jumping to the end for the discussion. I mean, in, in, term, in terms of like X-Men 1, X-Men 2, X-Men 3, that order, yeah. this is the last one. Right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, this is the last one in that time that we have Charles Xavier, we have Wolverine, they're officially mm -hmm. gone by the end of this. And we'll the discuss. technical X-Men. Yeah, yes. and the X-Men are gone. Yeah. Now, first off, I want to go into the biggest question that you're going to come out of the movie with mm -hmm. is what happened to the mutants, what happened to everyone? Now, from what we've been piecing together, my theory on the situation is based upon what the villain says at the ending, that they put stuff into the food and the water to get rid of the X gene and get rid of the mutants, mm -hmm. is that that made Professor Xavier's powers go haywire mm -hmm. based upon him stating that he killed everyone and the disaster that happened to Westchester, and which is where, that's where the mansion was located. Yeah. Right? yeah. Yep. And okay. there's also some kind of indication that somewhere between X3 and I guess Days of Future Past, or if we're gonna count that one, uh, the fact that the X Men at some point become a public figure. Yeah, people like of pop culture too, because there's comic books. They know yes. who the X Men are. They're aware of the X Men were in Westchester, and mm -hmm. they can make them into comic books yeah. and yeah. like kind of serialize their adventures. He says at one point Logan says something to the effect of like we do one thing and they blow it out of proportion. Which yes. Is, yes. At some point the X Men must save the world outside of the fact of the liberty. Right, but they right. also state um, a quarter of what is in these books is, is accurate. Yeah. No, a quarter well, is real, yeah. and the, the rest of it's fake. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Absolutely. And he makes a joke about leotards, which I found to be humorous. Oh my yeah. God. yeah. Oh, by the way, spoiler: uh, he doesn't wear the, the yellow spandex. Ever. Which I really wish he had, but that 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 little kid was holding like the. the, 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 the suit. Yeah. I'm sorry. You want to see <laughs> old ass Logan wearing? <laughs> the I, I, oh, by the way, I was talking. Out. Like when they had the scene where we were in the store and then uh, 
Uh, Xavier was like, well, we have to get clothes. I thought he was going to put on like the old man Logan. Yes. yes. I, yeah. I, I, I was really hoping yeah. he was going to put on the hat. Yeah, yeah. 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 No. So, but anyway, so from what we gathered, it seems like whatever the villain did to the stuff, which flashes back to the city, he's the son of the... Um, he's the son of the of the guy William Stryker ran. and all that other stuff. He's not William Stryker's so, yeah. kid, but he's like the, the guy who ran the, yeah. the next program. You had, you had Xander Rice and his... Well, it's, yeah, it's, it's different from the comics, but yeah, Xander Rice, his, I can't remember his father's name. Really? It was, no. Whoever he was, he started yeah. the problem with Weapon X and all that other stuff. Yeah. So this yeah. is his son, so it doubles back on the Logan thing. It doubles back over there, and it's his son basically stating, I did this, it got rid of the mutants, it worked, and I wanted to make my own mutants. That we can control. Right, I want to control mutants, and that's the idea behind X-23, yeah. which is a cool idea. So our theory, because they don't actually explicitly state what happened. But our theory is whatever he did made Xavier's powers go haywire. He killed everyone, including, because he does stop Logan from finishing the sentence, but Logan does state that you killed our friends. Yes. yes. Well, no, no, okay, now that's something. Something, that just, it was either him or Xavier, but somebody stated you killed our friends, basically. Well, that was something that I just kept talking about, uh, talking about a second ago, or thinking about a second ago, because in the beginning of the movie, Caliban yeah. was like, if he'd have kept going, he would have, like, he would have suffocated us all. That's right. And yeah. that, I imagine, is probably what happened. Well, yeah, and don't forget, like, mm. We Cerebro was a big key to most of the X franchise for the longest yeah. time, mm -hmm. and actually they kind of like made echoes of it with Professor X's hiding place being in that big chamber. Kind yeah. of reminded you of yeah. Cerebro. I'm assuming that maybe Professor X was in Cerebro at the time, and that's what wiped out the mutants. That would make sense. Yeah. yeah, he literally Ooh. just like froze, like he just yeah obliterated them. But but basically, without stating what happened, Professor Xavier says he can't remember. Logan won't tell him. And in his moment of clarity towards the ending, he does remember that yep. he is the reason the mutants and the X-Men are gone. Yeah. It wasn't it wasn't the classic old man Logan storyline no, involving right. Mysterio where yeah. well, Logan I'm glad. I'm glad, I'm glad that they, yeah, I'm glad they did something else, but they make basically make it out to be Xavier did it and the only survivor is Logan because he's got all those mental things that allow him to get through that. Yes. Yeah. And because of that, he's been taking care of Xavier because of their their, their, their relationship. Yeah. yeah. So you killed them all, but I'm gonna take care of him. And he keeps him medicated so that he doesn't remember what he did. And also so that his powers don't like flap the Freak out. Yeah. yeah, like they were. Like, oh yeah. Yeah. So that's the first question. The the second big, big question that comes out of the entire thing. Now I can't remember what it was. Well, um, Damn it. Uh, but, oh, so what happened to mutants? And then the next question is um, I don't know. What is it? What's killing Wolverine? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What's Wolverine's killing Wolverine? dying. Yeah. So, yeah, and the whole movie, the whole theme, like an ongoing theme of the whole thing is Wolverine is dying mm -hmm. and he's finally hit. Oh, his healing factor's not working. Right, his healing yeah, factor's not working. Funky. It's, it's, we've it's got working, a few, but it's not working. We got a few theories on that because they claim that it's adamantium poisoning. Yeah. Um, he pretty much implies that by basically when they show him adamantium, he says, This is what is killing me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or what is going to kill This is what's going to be killing us. Yes. Mm -hmm. But with the fact that things were shut down by this individual putting stuff in the food in the water, it's very clear that that's probably what shut down Wolverine's healing factor. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, that's kind of the weird situation is because Wolverine's healing factor in and out of comics has never been like thoroughly explained. There's no one shot that's like, here's how Wolverine's healing factor works. Right. It's just like you kind of have to go by Old Man Logan. So it's like, well, he gets older, which means that as time progresses, his healing factor just loses its efficiency. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah, like muscles and cells and so on and so forth. Well, and it's that's exactly works. what happened. He does eventually start slowing down. Yeah. Yeah. And while they, while they don't like, Yes, we know he's dying from some kind of a poisoning, and they don't really explicitly say what it is, except at the end he says that that is what is killing us, yeah. which yeah. allows you to imply that that is what's going on. Um, it is pretty clear that they're going the old man Logan route of it is slowly healing. Yeah. Well, and he says at the end to uh, the, the son of the guy who ran it for uh, Weapon X, he says, like, you put this poison inside. Right, right. right so they imply right. that, that that one's a lot more heavily implied than yes. exactly what happened with the old mutants. Yes. yes. So. Before we go any further, I want to, because I'm trying to keep this at a quick pace because I don't want this to be an hour long video yeah, because yeah. Natalie, my lovely wife, is holding the camera up and she's going to die if we do this for an hour. <laughs> yeah. um, but how do you guys feel about them not revealing that information outright? Oh. Leaving it for us to figure out in, uh, in typical comic book fashion, giving you the pieces. Yeah. I'll be honest, I think they're testing the waters. Um, I, think they're, I think Fox is trying to figure out what to do with Hugh Jackman not in the X Men movies. And what this would do is, is it would basically allow them to come back and fill in the holes without Hugh Jackman. Because you could, you could easily see them coming back, like, and they could, they could take a page out of Old Man Logan. It's called, like, The Night the X-Men Died or something oh, like yeah. that. And then it's literally just, like, what happened? And there's, like, none of the X-Men there. It's just all the events that lead up to it with Xander Rice and all mm -hmm. those guys. And then it just shows us what happens, and then it just segues directly into... Into this. Into the, yeah, into Logan. Yeah, I, I, think that's kind of I think that's an idea. I don't see that happening. I think they're just going to keep with their new timeline at this point and yeah, just kind yeah. of ignore the rest. Like, I think this was their way of going, Wolverine's a popular character. We're not going to wrap Hugh Jackman up into the new timeline because then we've just 
Even Simon. though we kind of already did in well, Apocalypse. Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, they're not going to because they don't yeah. want to sign him on. He's obviously going he's to done. be done. Yeah. yeah. And I think this is their way of going, okay, well, we made, a, we kept the old timeline by having a Wolverine in the old timeline, so let's do that again. Right. Yeah, yeah it was more just a fun little... I, yeah. I love that they didn't reveal it, because I think that that allows them to be like, yes, it's in canon with the other movies, but it doesn't have to be. Right. Like, it, it allows a lot of ambiguous... They let you enough clues that you can come to your own conclusions. Yep. A lot of people, from what I've already seen, are being like, no, that is plot holes. But I feel like the mm. plot is Wolverine finally coming to terms with himself, his past, him having to teach someone new, yeah. and his role as Wolverine, the leader, as opposed okay. to Wolverine. You know, it all brings back what Professor X said way back at the beginning. I see a, a, a great potential right. in that yeah. kind of a line. Yeah. Um, and I feel like that's the point of this movie. The point of the movie is not what happened to the mutants. It is not his poisoning. It's we're going to be losing him. He's going to be going. Can we end his tale in a nice way? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And like, we'll just throw out there, hey, the mutants are gone, so stop asking where right. Cyclops. <laughs> yeah. Don't bring up where's Emma. Don't go right. where's the Yeah, they wanted to yeah. just curtail the comments right away. <laughs> yeah, they just wanted to be like, the mutants are gone. Wolverine is Deal dying. We're just, well, because I think it was also the smart move, too, because here, here's the other thing you have to think about. Like, I imagine they had a meeting. They're like, well, how do we get rid of the X-Men? And somebody was like, just don't say anything. Right. Yeah. Because, yeah. because what happens is no matter what, no matter what answer they would have given, people would have been like, well, that's stupid. Yeah. Right? yeah. If, it, if it was a legacy virus, well, that's dumb. Like, only a virus that affects mutants. I also, mean, you just wasted the legacy virus. We can't use yeah. that in another yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's there's a million explanations they could have offered. But yeah. by, by just saying, like, at some point they died, and now it's just focused on the here and now, yeah. it works. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, it comes together pretty well. It right. And then cool. Like I said, they do leave you the clues, yeah. so you can kind of be like, oh, okay, that's kind of what must have happened. Yeah, they, yeah. Don't, oh, they don't beat you over the head with it. And it, no. it, it, it okay, so the, the movie itself is just like, it's it, it, it's mature, yes. and it treats you with the same level of maturity. It's like, yeah. listen, you're, you're, here's, some, here's the tools. If you want, if you really care, there's enough clues in here for you to figure it out. Right. Well, I mean, I, I kind of felt like it was a love letter to, to like Wolverine, like to Hugh Jackman's whole time there. Totally. Because it's just like... Let's just see stuff where Hugh Jackman is like old and there's character development, mm -hmm. but then let's also see him just like tear stuff up. <laughs> oh, yeah. and it, and it was there's cool. so yeah. much death. Let, let's go. Let's go. Get, just to keep us moving pace here. Yeah. yeah. How do you guys feel about this being R and there being blood <sighs> gore? Literally, Laura has a head that she just yeah. throws yeah. out yeah. there. You're like, I, I want to say this. I want to say this right now. X-23's fight, like Laura Kenny's fights, yes. were like the highlight of this. Oh, oh yeah. Dude, it yeah. was nuts. Okay. <laughs> she was, it, it was, it's so insane. Blood is going everywhere, the limbs are flying, she's yeah. cutting heads off, burying her toes right. into people's heads. Yeah. It's insane. You know, and it's handled so well, it never gets old. No! Yeah. Nor does it yeah. feel gratuitous. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I think the violence is handled while graphic and kind of exciting, it's also not... Oh, but it, it, it's not gratuitous and gross. It's not, it's not, it's not a gore fest. Yeah. And you know what I really liked about the fight scene with this? While there was a lot of quick cuts, they didn't play the shaky cam. No. Oh my it God. Would, oh, it was stationary, and yeah. you'd see them flip, oh, yeah. and then it would go to the next scene. Like, yeah. I, there was more. I would have rather seen, you know, I get, I get how you make a movie, I get you want to do quick cuts to make your fight sequences easier, mm -hmm. but more they didn't play the. Oh, yeah. Do you know what's going on? Do you know what's going on? I yeah. hate that. Yeah, you no, can I actually do. see some of the choreography. Yes, yeah. and that was beautiful. I love the way those fights. Looked, I loved seeing um, Wolverine just busting it out. Oh yeah, I, it was just amazing. The fights were incredible in that movie, um, and it just tied into everything else that's going on. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. Well, plus there were like there were small things here and there. Like it wasn't just enough that Wolverine had scars. It was like he pops his claws and one doesn't come out. I yeah. Know. Like, <laughs> oh was, my god. I mean, it was it was they showed violence when they needed to, and they didn't show it when they didn't need to. Yeah. Like when X twenty three first kills those guys, you don't even see it. She just walks no. up with a head. Yeah. And I'm just yeah. like that's perfect. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's absolutely perfect. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, what I loved about it is they spent enough time in each of the fights to make each one worth it mm -hmm. so then when we would spend 20 or 30 minutes like in the farm scene yeah. you're like yes. I don't feel like I'm losing out on my violence I don't yeah. feel like I'm losing out on my that's not the wrong way I said that <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I don't feel like I'm well, missing out on my violence you're going to see Wolverine win this rated R final yeah. <laughs> kind of so yeah, you, want see, you, want see, you want to see him tearing people in half. But it was a, it's a welcome, yeah. Guys. It is. I was going to say, like, the, the conversational moments that we have, like, character building moments, don't slow the, the movie down at all. Because right, the action's no, so well paced. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and for what I, what I loved about the conversational, the dialogue, the way they were developing the characters, is I feel like almost every scene was purposely put in there. Yeah. Yes. We didn't have any unnecessary scenes no. just to get a joke in or just to get yeah. a moment where we get to see him looking cool. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it was, it was, a, it was a really. Uh, we, uh, we may be having a potential potential technical difficulty. What's the difficulty, Natalie? Batteries. Uh, good thing I've got an extra one already charged up. We'll be right back. Quick cut. <laughs>
and unquick cut. <laughs> uh, I'm so clever. Anyway, yeah, so the big answer is obviously we already went over that. We already know how we felt about the R rating, the gratuitous violence, which weirdly wasn't gratuitous in our opinion. So let's go ahead and do our closing thoughts. How did you guys feel about and this one, if you have been bearing with we're going to spoil the ending. So if you've been bearing with us, generally answering everything else about the movie, you've got five, four, three, two, <laughs> one. Rob, how did it end? Uh, it basically ended with over with Logan dying. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was a great send off. This is one of the things I was the most worried about was when Fox said they were doing New Mutants. My idea was, oh God, Xavier is going to start a new generation of mm -hmm. X Men. I like what they're doing. They're just like Xavier's gone, Logan's gone, like all the X Men, the whole mm -hmm. old roster is gone. Now yeah. it's a new generation of mutants. Yeah. yeah. And I love that whole idea. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And I, I love how they, the, 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 uh, Logan dies. I can't talk. Talking's hard. It's like <laughs> 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. Um, it's like 11 o'clock and that, wow, wow, I'm wow, right for just looping on that, I'm yeah, tired still thing. Still 11 o'clock, yeah. <laughs> hey, what time is it? 11. And I'm spitting <laughs> on myself, I'm just dying. Wow. I've had a mentium poisoning, I'm going down. <laughs> anyway, um, the way it ends, yeah, with him dying and then the mutants going off and they're like, they're going to an Eden. And they don't even answer the, is where are they going? Yeah. yeah. Now they answered someone on the radio and said you have clearance, so we yes. know that there's somebody there. Yeah. But they don't even answer that, they leave that open oh, yeah. so that they may be going on, maybe they're just going to wander in the woods until they die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah, I feel like this is the end. And they have a great button at the end of it, and I'll let somebody else talk about it. But the fact is, I feel like this is a perfect way to end the Brian Singer Fox X franchise in general. Right. Because, they're, they're not going to because they, they, they hung the whole <laughs> franchise on, on Hugh Jackman's Wolverine yeah. mm -hmm. from legitimately from X Men 2000 all the way to. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And so having let him retire through death. They allow, <laughs> the retirement. but they end it, and they just go, all right, like that's it, and just like they're like they end it on a because the movie's pretty sad, and yeah, so right. as such, but most of the movie is a depressing tone in it's general. It's pretty, it's pretty down. I mean, Logan's carrying a bullet where he wants to kill himself. Yeah, that's oh, the yeah. whole point. That, 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 Apparently, I'm the only guy who laughed in the in the theater when he said that. But. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> he's like, oh, they're like, why are you carrying? They're like, Laura's asking, why do you want to carry the bullet? And he looks at her and he's like, you know, uh, I'm just carrying to Vermont. I want to kill myself, and I was like, ha ha. <laughs> yeah. But I'm just saying, and I'm like, like, no one else left. Letting the next generation of mutants kind of like walk off into the woods is kind of just a say of saying like the future will continue. Yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. but we'll do something else with the X Men that's totally separate, like a show called yeah. Legion. Oh yeah, <laughs> I mean, it, it, it works. It works perfect. It yeah. is. It's it's the good guy getting on his horse, riding off into the sunset. It's yeah. the western, yeah. It's yeah. The, which is yeah. exactly what we saw in yeah. there. That's what exactly yeah. what Old Man Logan is. It's it's a so, western. For the yeah. record, I'm gonna go throw it out there right now. All those stupid like Logan ending explained websites, which yeah. I looked at immediately getting out of here. They're all dumb. But here's the explanation that they gave you: one, the cross falls over and it's an X. It could possibly imply the X Men or Weapon X. We don't know, but yeah. is it an X? And that could mean multiple things in the X Men universe. Uh, where do the kids go, no one knows. Uh, the defeat of Wolverine having to fight his own clone of himself, which is a past version, is obviously a way of him de literally defeating his past self and yes. moving on from that yeah. rage berserker thing. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it, the only, only problem I had with 24, which is apparently who he yeah, is, X24, yeah. yeah. is that he was just so rage-inducing and then someone could be like, go get him! <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. yeah. So at least they kind of, they, yeah. they do have to work hard to Convince him to do it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Rage. yeah but they it's still, they you know. almost gave him a childlike mind. Yes. Yeah, it was it was weird, but it was cool to see him literally killing himself, moving it past yes. himself. Yeah. I yeah. liked that ending. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm, oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead. Oh. Uh, one of the things I kind of wish they'd done with X-23, and I know it would have seemed like seemed like really, really dark and really, you know, really terrible, but the film was already dark anyway. Yeah, right? <laughs> I really wish they'd used the trigger scent concept. And I really, I think it would have been. That's a, that's a whole different plot in itself, though. Oh, oh I know, but I think. Yeah. It but but well, see, it, it didn't have to be huge, though. Like you literally have you install somewhere where the chick Gabriel, whatever, is going over the training or something like that. Mm -hmm. You see an instance where a trigger sense used to send Laura see? into a rage, but yeah. at the end, like when what's his name, when Xander Rice is kind of going crazy and trying, like you literally just have her have him expose her to a trigger sense, yeah. and she kills she kills Logan. Yeah. It would have been like mm -hmm. sad, and it would have been crushing, and it would have made made it more impactful. Mm -hmm. yeah, but see, I like what they did instead because I and this is one thing I was going to comment before we close out on this. 
I feel like we got enough Easter eggs that were fun, but yeah. they didn't throw in so many other things it's that you would ask a thousand exactly. questions. Yeah. If they had put the trigger set in there without fully explaining it, you either one would have had another 30 minutes on the goddamn movie, yeah. and it was already a two and a half hour movie, it was so long. it was already a long movie, <laughs> yeah. or you would have literally been setting up for a sequel and Fox very obviously doesn't know what they want to do other than another Deadpool yeah. moment. I'm going to say, that's the biggest disappointment about this movie, is that if this is the end for this whole, for that franchise, yeah. we lose the young actress who plays X-23. Oh my god. Yeah. Because she is incredible. But, yeah, but with how young they made her and, the, and where they're starting her, mm -hmm. yeah. we can do the entire trigger set. Uh, oh, you can do, do that. that. Yeah, yeah. Do that. Absolutely. Well, you can even roll in her mother because they didn't, they didn't even explain the nurse who got her out of there. Yeah. There yeah. could have been the mother figure still there, and it was, oh, yeah. this was just the nurse. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, the, the nurse. Yeah, the, the nurse who got her out was Gabrielle. But no, I mean, there's yeah, well, that, that's not a character in the comics. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Okay, I was gonna say like in the comics, she has a mother. Well, no, remember like it wasn't until Target X that they introduced Kimura, the chick with. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, 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 like if, if this movie. does amazing and they're like we're gonna bring her back into a sequel, which it is, they've yeah. left yeah. all of X23's direct lore available. Yes. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Which, by the way, it was like the fact that she didn't speak for half the film was like a testament to how great she I know. portrayed the character. Yeah. And then like she speaks, she starts just like screaming in Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's just I, I love. I loved her depiction of X twenty three because she had this she had this feeling where she walked around where it was like she's such a cute innocent girl but it's like but she could really really like mess you up. Mess you up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So overall, guys, I don't want this to go any longer than already. It's probably already exceeding twenty minutes in our in our final edits. And Natalie's probably sitting there going, God damn it, would they just shut the hell up for two seconds? I want to go to bed. It's 11 o'clock at night, and Benny doesn't even know where he is at the moment. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, that's that. We're going to close it. Obviously, you can see that we're humongously fans of this. Uh, we don't care about the plot holes. We like what they did with the whole uh, movie in general. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you yeah. like us talking like this, then join us on our podcast every Tuesday on Twitch, where we do the weekly poll. You can also find it on iTunes, SoundCloud, and various locations. And outside of that, guys, this is Comic Pop. Go check them out. This is Comics Explained. You probably know who he is, but we gotta close this out because Natalie's giving me the symbol that something's dying on the on the camera right now. So bye, bye. I love you all. See you all later. Woo!